Why was today significant for you today? Um, I got uh, called in for my annual appointment today at the diabetic clinic and I've been officially signed off the diabetes register having consistently came, um, had low levels for two years now. And what uh, what others um, um, led to it as well? Um, well, I've also um, come. Up, I'm now off my blood pressure medication and the statins for my cholesterol. Everything has been normal for 12 months now, um, and my weight loss target has hit 10 stone. 10 stone. You started off in dark times, well documented. What's it like living 10 stone heavier than you are now? It's just amazing. My life has changed dramatically, mentally and physically. When you were 10 stone heavier, what was it like? just miserable miserable I couldn't I, you know I had no um, enjoyment in life I had no in motivation to do anything I hated myself um, and I thought it was this was it basically so you dug yourself out of there you got going you started doing quite a bit yourself you showed great courage determination to get your trainers on every day and did it and then you joined the gym then you started reshaping your body yeah. what was that process like how hard was it um, at first it was extremely difficult difficult um, because obviously carrying around that much weight no fitness whatsoever um, but once I got into it I just thoroughly enjoyed it and it just gave me such a new purpose and, and every time you see another inch come off or you change your shape or you do 10 more reps of a certain exercise it just makes you want to do more. <music> So your story's been well documented because so many people have been inspired by you and your story, how you've come out of the depths of despair, got your mind in a much clearer and better place. What is the secret for doing that? It's the first step, it's always the hardest. Um, and believing that in yourself and that you're worth it, that you're worth, you, this is not the life you want to live. You've got to want to change. You can't change for anybody else but yourself. You've got to want to do it. How important is your mind in all this equation? Well, it's it's up there right at the top because your mind drives your body. And if your mind's not in the right place, uh, your body just will give up and illness, physical illness will follow. So exercise is the main driver of mental health, would you say? Absolutely, absolutely. It releases endorphins into the brain, which are the happy hormones, makes you want to get up in the morning. Um, and as you start seeing physical results, you start having mental results as well. Would it be easy now saying, I've lost 10 stone, I've done all these great things, I'm off diabetes to stop. Why don't you stop right now? Um, because I have a target. I've got another two stone I want to lose and I don't ever want to go back to being diabetic. I've had members of the family with diabetes. My father, my grandmother died from diabetic associated diseases. That is not where I want to be. How much has it changed your world? Totally. I'm, I'm back in work after 20 years. Um, I'm doing all the things I used to do when I was in my 20s. The years that I lost to my mental health issues and my weight issues are coming back to What me. would you say to those people stuck in the four walls They say you can't do nothing? You can. You can do anything if you can put your mind to it. It's the first step. It's the first step. It's the most important. After and that, everything else comes behind it. Truly inspirational day for you, Sherry, again. Yeah. Amongst the list of your other achievements. Thank you very much. Thank you.